We like to think about education as the art of living. So it's not just about education for the workplace and what you're going to do next in life. It's about how to take up life in a meaningful way. If we think about the stress for teachers as well as students, we see that mindfulness can offer us certain paradigms, strategies and approaches which help diffuse that stress. One of our research directors here at the Faculty of Education through a program called SMART to be able to go into the schools and to research and really study the impact of mindfulness-based training on teachers' lives and students as well. Part of the reason why we have a lot of innovative programs in the Faculty of Education is because we were really mindful about who we hired. So we thought that when we build our faculty, being a small campus, small university, we didn't want to hire experts that work in silo. So we have a lot of really innovative people and we decided to think about who do we want to be and to reflect upon our location, our region. And living in the Okanagan, we have a big tech industry. And that was one of our decisions to have the Innovative Learning Centre. The fact that the faculty has embraced the Innovative Learning Centre, which is an output of probably my zillion years worth of educational experience and research speaks volumes. The notion of appropriate technologies and technologies to lead pedagogical innovations is well received and right now the ILC, it's booked, it's full. I chose this program because I wanted to become an educator in a specific area. I consider teaching as giving information from the head of a teacher to students and now I understand that this is not the same thing. Both students and teacher work together on, some, on the mind creation. As a graduate student in education, I explore opportunities uh, to bring design into education and help students and educators to experience design thinking and design process as a creative way of problem solving. We hope to make a big difference in education in two areas. I think the area of design thinking, using appropriate technology, and really thinking about innovative ways of how we teach beyond the classroom and, and what that can look like. The other area we stand to make a difference is in, in mindfulness, uh, a more contemplative approaches to education where we're really worried about uh, preparing teachers who are resilient, that have a lot of self-awareness, um, that understand about the social emotional needs of learners and they'll bring that into the work that they do.